In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a typewriter effect to a GUI uh, text element so that it looks like text is being typed as if somebody is speaking it to you. So it's very simple to do. I've got a GUI here with a text label, which I'm going to put my text into. So to do it in a local script, of course, because this is GUI scripting, uh, I'm going to just create a variable for my text label. There we go. Now that I've got the variable, I'm going to create a for loop. And uh, well, in fact, we will create a function. So local function, and I'm going to call it type right. And it's going to take two arguments. The first argument is going to be the um, object that you want to apply the typewriter effect to. So this will be the text label. Now, obviously, I've got the variable up here, but if you wanted to um, use this function over and over again for different objects, that's why we're having the argument for the object. So you can tell the function which uh, object or text element you want the effect to appear on. So we'll just call this one object, and the second argument is going to be the text that appears. So we'll just call that text. So this will be a string, and this will be an object. So inside our function, we need to, um, we're going to loop through the text. So for every single character in the text, we're going to update the text labels text property. So if I just create a string here, and let's just say that this is the text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop over every single character. So we're going to use string manipulation so that we can split the string up. Uh, and every every time, so for every single um, character, so this string here, has got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16 characters, okay? So we're going to loop through every single character, and the first time we go around, we're only going to print out the T. The second time we go around, we're going to print out TH. The third time, we're going to print out THI, right? You get this? So every time we loop around, we're going to loop through every character in the string. Every time we loop around, we're going to just set the text of the text label to be that portion of the string and if we have a weight you know a small weight in there of say 0.05 seconds you it will look as if it's being typed so what we're going to do we're going to create a for loop so we're going to loop through um, for i equals well we're going to start at uh, one and we're going to go to the length of the text do and we're going to increase by one so every single time we're just we're going to do this 16 times because there's 4, 5, um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 characters. This for loop is going to run any code inside of it 16 times because we're going, we're counting up from 1 to the length of the text. In this case, it's 16. And we're just, uh, the i value is going to be the counter. So it's going to start at 1. i is going to be equal to 1 at the start. Every single time it goes round the for loop, i is going to increase by 1, that's the third um, piece of information that we've given the for loop, and it's going to keep going, keep running any code inside of the for loop, until i is the length of text, which is 16. So every time it goes round, again, let's just put a wait in here of 0.05 seconds, so we can actually see it being typed out, and it doesn't all happen at once. If we didn't have the wait, it would just go straight to the end, it would just print out, it would just set the text to be the full string. So Every single time it goes round, we need to set the object's text property to, we're going to use um, string manipulation. We're going to use a function called string.sub. And what string.sub does is, well, you firstly pass the string. So that will be text. And then you tell it two numbers. So number one, the first number is going to be the portion. What it does is basically you, you give it two numbers and it's, going to be 1 is the start of the string, and obviously 16 is going to be the end of the string. So you could say, right, I only want the first character, so I'm going to go from 1 to 1, and that will give you T. If you said 1 to 2, it would give you TH. If you said 1 to 3, it would give you um, THI. So we want to go from 1 to I. Now, because I is the counter, and every single time it goes round, it increases by 1. Obviously, it starts at 1, so the first time that it goes around, it's going to set the text to be uh, the first character to the first character, so it's only going to print out T. But then the second time around, I increases by 1, so I is now 2. And because now we are selecting 
the characters from the text string from the first character to second character, which is uh, I, because I is 2, it's going to print out TH. Waits 0 0.05 seconds, then I increases by 1 automatically, so I is now 3. So we're going to get the characters from position 1 to 3. So 1 to 3, it's going to print out THI. It's going to go around again, it's going to print out THIS. So now, if we just run our typewrite function uh, on the text label, and we'll give it some text. So we'll just say, this is the text once again to call our function and we'll just run it to make sure we've got no errors and what I'll also do is I'll just add a wait 5 so we can get into the game and be all loaded and ready to go so in we go and obviously wait the 5 seconds but you should start to see it uh, writing on the screen there we go it says this is the text and we're done so what I'll do this time I'll just reduce that wait and we'll make it a, a longer string so Okay, so click on play, and this time it's just going to do the same thing as before, but with a longer string. And you can see that it's now um, writing out the text, and you've got that lovely little typewriter effect, which I spoke about at the start. Now, you can change the weight in the, uh, in the weight here. You can change this number to be smaller if you want it to be faster. Obviously, if you want it to um, type itself out slower, just increase it. So uh, you could also have a... A length argument and you could put the length in here and then that way every single t time that you call it you can specify your own length um, so we could do 0 0.02 over here but then if you wanted to pr to do another type right after it and change the text and change the speed then you could do you know you could do another one uh, but just change the parameters um, down here so let's try this once again so the first one should be really quick because we set it to 0 0.02 the second one should be a little bit slower um, there we go so you've just learned uh, how to create a typewriter effect in roblox now this is useful for lots of things if you're speaking to an npc if you're designing a tutorial loads of use cases and a lot of people um, think it's really hard to do but once you just understand that this for loop what, what that we've done here is it's it's just a count we're counting from one we're setting our i um, value here to start off at one we want it to count up to the length of the text when you put a hashtag before the um, name of the the, the um, string it gives you the length of it and um, so in, in I'm not sure how many characters there are here but when we did this is the text I counted up there were 16 characters so it would go from 1 to 16 increasing by one every time that's what the third value is and then it, every time it goes around uh, out of those 16 times, it just sets the object's text to this string.sub. And string.sub selects a portion of your string. So you tell it the first um, position, the first character, and the last character. So if I said the first one and the seventh one, we would go from the first one here all the way along to the seventh one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it would print out this is. The next time around, obviously, it increases by one, you go to the eighth. So it gets a bit longer and it gets a bit longer and it keeps going and then eventually because you keep repeating over and over again and you have that delay with the weight you get that really nice typewriter effect so if you found this video useful please do drop a like make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel i make loads of roblox scripting tutorials and i'll see you in the next one have a great day and don't forget to share the video as well with uh, other people if uh, you feel that you found it useful share the knowledge thanks for watching everybody i'll catch you next time cheers